When LMPD officers have a crisis, there's a program that steps in to help. But as WDRB's Tamara Evans explains in the special assignment report tonight, firefighters have not gotten that same support until now. Spend a few minutes with four-year-old Ethan Zoller. And you'll find an outgoing young boy who loves to play. Happy, carefree, and enjoying a day at the playground. I got a car away. He's come a long way in just three years. He was 18 months old when he was transplant. It was his small intestines that were the problem. When he was born, he uh, had all of his intestines, but they didn't have nerves in them, so they didn't work. So he couldn't eat by mouth until he had his transplant. When he in and out of the hospital, sometimes for a month at a time. One, two, three, his mother, Sergeant Carmen Zoller with LMPD, had to take leave from work along with her husband. The bills started piling up. It was probably one of the most stressful times of our lives. It's a feeling that a select group of LMPD officers, You're good nap, huh? like Detective Joshua Janes, understand. I've never even held a baby before I held her. His daughter Peyton got sick when she was just two months old. Uh. I know. She wasn't holding any food down and was in and out of the hospital as doctors tried to figure out why. She was losing, losing an excessive amount of weight, even in a two-day span. On Christmas Day... You're just looking at just death warmed over. It was the worst thing imaginable. Peyton was sent back to the hospital and eventually fell below her birth weight. It took doctors months of testing to get an answer. They uh, did a scope on her and found out that she was uh, highly allergic to milk and protein. Peyton had to have an IV to get the nutrients she needed. This worried father started considering options financially. If I had to take a loan out, you know, if I had to, you know, uh, personal items that we had, start selling to make up, you know, for that. But help would quickly arrive for both Detective Janes and Sergeant Zoller through the Louisville Metro Police Foundation's Officer in Distress Program, they received financial help. We've had uh, officers who have had children with uh, terminal illnesses. We have had uh, officers themselves uh, suffering from anything from terminal illnesses or being injured in a line of duty. Barry Denton, the executive director of the foundation, says on average they help 20 to 30 officers a year, whether it be financial help, providing food at the hospital, or even just a phone call to make sure they're okay. That program focuses on supporting officers and their immediate families uh, when tragedy strikes. Now the plan is to help other first responders. <laughs> Money raised from an upcoming basketball Hall of Fame classic at the Yum Center will be used to benefit police officers and firefighters in distress. Captain Casey Hennessy with Louisville Fire and Rescue understands how important the support can be. Well, about three years ago, um, while I was uh, riding my bike to work, uh, I was struck from behind by a vehicle and uh, was put in the hospital. I was uh, off duty for about six months. He had a spinal fusion and wasn't able to get around or work. Most firemen have second jobs as well. So, you know, while you're off, you can't work your second job. So you're kind of out that. It was his fellow firefighters who came to the rescue financially and physically. I had guys just come out of the blue, stop by my house, and uh, want to cut my grass with lawnmowers in the back of their truck. How much did that mean to you to have them offer that help? It's priceless. I mean, you can't. It, uh, yeah, it's, it, was, it was not just me. It was my family. And, uh, you know, it's... It's something I'm, in, I'm indebted forever. Now, for the first time, the Louisville Metro Police Foundation will also help firefighters. With continued donations, the plan is to keep the firefighter in distress program year-round. And it's given back to those, uh, to those uh, public servants who do so much for us every day. It's something those that have been helped by the program, like Detective Janes. You can say hi. And Sergeant Zoller. I come at you, Mommy. Don't take for granted forever thankful for for what they have done for our family we're all one big family and to see that the community is reaching out and supporting us is wonderful great to see that help coming that was tamara evans reporting tonight a hall of fame classic will take place on september 11th for more information just go to wdrb.com and click on the button